In this video, I want to show you how to edit the Hypnotis. So you'll get a copy of this file and you double click the file, uh, the PDF file that will open in Adobe Acrobat Reader. If you don't have Acrobat Reader, you can download it you can do a Google search for Adobe Acrobat Reader and you'll be able to edit this file. So obviously enter the cover entity's name. That's going to be your practice name, your practice's name. Now here they want address, website, phone number, email, and contact information. So usually that's going to be the office see the office email address website you know one two three main street anywhere whatever and then you know phone number nine seven three you know, five 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 then the email someone at you know email your email dot whatever it happens to be now scrolling down further there are a couple of other spaces this is really going to be practice specific um, special notes I don't you know I, I don't really need that privacy rule you know this is again I don't think we need this for dental I'm not an attorney of course but this is your know, general guideline um, and there's that um, then over here you can enter the date you know April whatever 28th or 24th 24 2018 and then down here um, most of us are not a part of that as far as I know but again you can you click that to get rid of it, and then again, you um, privacy officials, probably you or whoever it happens to be, and her email address and phone number, you know, Dr. David Wank, David W at blah, 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 you know, dot com, and phone number, you know, whatever, 973-555, once you want to, whatever it happens to be. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, but pretty much that covers you, that should cover you for having a HIPAA form. And again, if you also happen to have a HIPAA form in the office, you can send that to us as well and we can post that, whatever works for you. Thanks.